Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Panini Legacy Football 4 box. Pick your team number 19. If you follow the instructions here, you got a chance to win some break credit to jazbeescasebreaks.com. That'll be pretty nice. Very big thanks to this group for making it happen. We got uh, J Mac back in the action with us with the uh, Jags and Bucks double last spot mojo. Got a chance of that break credit as well. Thank you, sir. Let's pop open a fresh case. So there's a group of four right here. So that's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to do those four boxes right there. That's as random as it's going to get. These boxes we'll save for uh, for some other time. Nick said not to post any more of those one box breaks. So I wonder if he's saving those for a different configuration or maybe maybe a different uh, I don't know a mixer something like that. Rex, you need some ideas for dinner. Now tell me what, what, what you were going to have, and they'll tell you not to have it. How about a delicious, delicious salad? A Cobb salad. That sounds pretty good. Mmm. Some mixed spring greens. You, you, Rex, you, you're, you're at a grocery store. Can't you just grab some stuff off the shelves and just start making some stuff? I, I would grab a package of, uh, hmm, what, what can you do? What are your, uh, what are your food? Do you guys have a kitchen back there? How does that work? You're not a, you're not a rabbit. You're not a fan of, oh, you, are you a fan of like living? Uh, Rex, I want you to be healthy and live a long time. Sal you gotta work in a salad every once in a while. I'm not saying every day. You gotta work one in there. What about a... Uh does your, does your grocery store have a deli? Is there like a sandwich you can grab? Sandwich? Some chips and a lemonade maybe? That sounds pretty good. You're not allowed to use stuff in the deli besides the microwave. What a bummer. You can't even make yourself a sandwich? Can you make yourself a sandwich? I would get that big hunk of meat and put it in the thing, click, and then be like, bzz, 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 bzz. get some fresh, fresh meat for myself. That'd be pretty good. Nice, Kyle. Thank you. Now we got to do a few of those cereal boxes to get that knocked out. In fact, Nick posted the next one already. That would to be Ram team number five. I'm still down to do that last filler to do that NT. 
before my dinner break because these are all very quick little breaks here. So there you go, Rex, a soup and a sandwich. That sounds pretty good. Am I getting a soup and a sandwich? Here's a Matt Corral. Poor Matt Corral. I think he has a a list frank. Am I saying this right? I'm not a doctor. Although sometimes I play one on TV. 35 out of 75. I think he suffered a list frank injury. And I think he's out for the season. Uh, I think he was supposed to be a pretty possibly a pretty good sort of third quarterback in that room in Carolina. I don't think that's going to happen anymore. And that's Jeff with Carolina. Yeah, Jorge's confirming done for the year. Poor guy. The beginning, beginning of his career, too. There's Zach Wilson to 199. I thought... Uh, I thought he was going to be like QB3, and then once like Darnold's contract ran out or whatever, that they would hold on to Baker. It looks like Baker's going to be the guy there. And then Matt Corral maybe becomes the, the backup QB. 009 out of 125, Matt Judon for the Patriots. That's going to be for Karen. Starting to kind of get warmed up uh, into the football season as well. Just starting to think a little bit more about it. Got to think, start thinking about fantasy. Got to start, start thinking about whether I'm going to do some. Uh, I usually don't do. Uh, if you're into this sort of thing, I don't. I, I don't do uh, preseason like futures bets. I'm not good at futures stuff, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe I'll. Maybe I'll be feeling a little spicy. I feel like I would want to do one. Yeah, preseason injuries are. Remember when Travis Etienne Jr. went down? I mean, that's a number one. That's a first round pick. You know that that went down, and you know that that hurts him. That hurts their team. That hurts the hobby. You know, it's kind of harder for them to work their way back into. You know, imagine if Etienne Jr. just went off last season. That would have been great for the hobby. Patriots Brady to 50 for Karen. Yeah, so preseason injuries are the worst. So get well soon to all those. Hey, Kenny Pickett, how many? When does he get his start? It sounds like they're 74 out of 100. That is for Robert and the Steelers. Sounds like they're giving him a little more, more taking a, a deeper look at him. I mean, how confident are you that? Trubisky's going to do the job. There's to 149. We got Lamar Jackson, Cardinals, Ravens on in the background here, preseason game. That'll go to the Ravens, Patrick Davis. There's Nick Bosa to 299. There's Kenny Pickett again, just a regular rookie card. Darren Waller to 50. A little hammy issue for uh, for Daryl Waller. I'd like, I'd like to see him clear that up before week one of the season. There's Daxton Hill, Bengals. That will be for Simon. And that Darren Waller goes to my Raiders. That'll be for Ryan. All right, second box of four. Now I have a question for everybody. You can weigh in on this if you'd like. 
of the players, of the quarterbacks in the 22-22 NFL draft, who gets, who starts first? Who starts the earliest? I don't know. Is that does that am, am I is that question making sense? Is still my Monday. Who gets their first start first? None of the rookie quarterbacks are opening the season week one, right? Aaron Aaron does think it's going to be Pickett. Right, I guess Kenny Pickett picked 20. There is like a, a, a study, or a, not a study, but there is like a trend where if you're a first round quarterback, you generally get a start or two by the end of the season. Gilo is pointing out that Pickett already has a shot at the starting job. He has the easiest path to start. All right, so... Okay, fine, outside of Pickett then. You got third rounder Desmond Ritter for the Falcons. Tariq, uh, oh, sorry, Malik Willis. Another third round pick. Matt Corral, we already talked about it, and he's out for the season, unfortunately. Malik Willis for Tennessee. Yeah, probably not Bailey Zappi. Sam Howell, Washington Commanders. I guess there wasn't really a lot of quarterbacks taken. I don't think, and I don't think these seventh round guys are. Are, are in the mix. I guess, is it really just Desmond Ritter and Malik Willis the only legitimate shots at getting starts? I guess they are. So Desmond Ritter's backing up Mariota, right? And I feel like in the short time Mariota's with the Raiders, he's a good dude by all accounts. He's a good dude and... And in some packages, he's looked pretty good, but just couldn't really stay injured. Yeah, J-Mac think could pick it as well. Ritter would be Aaron's next pick. Trubisky and Rudolph, yeah, not giving a lot of competition to Pittsburgh. I think, like, I don't know. I feel like Malik Willis has a chance to, to pip Tannehill's job, too, if he doesn't start the season too effectively. All right, to 199, there is Kyle Hamilton. Speaking of Desmond Ritter, there he is. That'll be for Robert and the Falcons. This is a Raven, Kyle Hamilton for Patrick. Little mini card here, that's going to be for the Buccaneers. 44 out of 75, J Mac. Leonard Fournette mini. Josh Jacobs to 299. Jacobs extension was not picked up, his fifth year. Rookie contract extension not picked up, but I'm thinking that uh, he hasn't seemed too, I don't know, too beat up about it. There's Carson Strong to 149. I think he realizes the new regime I've got to prove myself, you know. So let's see how let's see how he does this season. There's another Malik Willis. Futures two color jersey and autograph. Kadon Thibodeau. And he was your, that's right, fifth overall pick. Defensive end out of Oregon for the New York football Giants. That is going to be for Patrick Davis. Five out of 25.
for the G-Men. I don't know how that scratch or creep, that must be from the manufacturing process somewhere, but it's actually a vet comment that I won't be shipping anyway. Uh, Phil Sims, 34 out of 100. Some of you may remember I was considering an NFL Plus last week. I realized, and I did a little more research, because I, I got all excited thinking it was going to be like MLB.TV, where I can watch regular season out-of-market games. Because they were showing preseason, out-of-market preseason games, so I was like, oh, does that mean they're going to do this for the regular season? I looked more into it. No, they're not going to do it. Because I think the, I think they might, though. Because isn't Sunday Ticket still not renewed? I think DirecTV hasn't. I don't know. Either way. There's Garrett Wilson, 8 out of 50. Uh, for the Jets, could be a pretty dynamic year for Garrett Wilson. Wilson, the Wilson to Wilson connection might be a thing. So back to back New York teams, Patrick Davis has the Jets and Giants. Yeah, I'm glad we talked this out too. Because that's in my head, I was like, because I, I, I do have MLB.TV, 72 out of 100, there's uh, Eddie George. And it was, it's cool to get like out of market games. Like if I'm traveling, I could watch the Dodgers or better yet, I could just watch other teams that are not my team. I just love watching baseball. So I was like, oh, this is awesome. I can totally do this. So apparently it's just whatever, it's whatever you got from Game Pass last year. They just rebranded it into NFL Plus. So it's pretty much the same as Game Pass. Although, like I said, I... I think the status of Direct TV and Sunday Ticket is in the air, so who knows where that where that um, TV package is going to be packaged? How that's going to be packaged up by the NFL, which is going to be a monster deal. So I wonder if they're just waiting. I don't. Know. Long story short, I'm waiting until I can make it like MLB.TV, where I can get any out of market game on my app, and then I'll pay for it probably overpay for it. Gladly. If I can get out of market games so I don't have to like do shady things to find games that are not on my normal television. You know, so. Yeah, brand thinks Amazon or Apple's gonna get NFL Sunday ticket. Oh, I'll gladly pay Bezos and, and Amazon for an out of market regular season TV pa or streaming package as well for my mobile device. Uh, from what I've heard about Amazon and what they're planning to do with Thursday night, I think they've poached a number of excellent producers and directors from different TV brought from NFL sports broadcasts. They got Al Michaels. I think they've got like a star sort of, you know, they've they've got a lot of great talent, like legitimate talent to do like pre and post game shows and halftime shows and analysis and stuff like that. Um, so. I've been hearing a lot about that. I don't hear the same thing with Major League Baseball and their and Apple's MLB package, which to me hasn't been su super great. The production is great. Maybe some of the anal analyst work is maybe not that great. A at least from the last, I haven't actually watched an, an Apple TV MLB game in a little ball in a little while, but. Maybe I should revisit it again too. And I obviously haven't seen uh, Amazon do uh, do a Thursday night game, so I have to reserve judgment there. But but just just from a building block perspective, it seems like Amazon is doing a little bit better of a job than uh, at least they publicly said they're doing a better of a job than than Apple TV. 
But I guess we'll have to see how how it happens. How the execution is from Amazon on Thursday nights. 230 out of 249, Kieran Williams. Kieran Williams is a Ram, fifth round pick out of Notre Dame for the Ramley. And that's going to be for Oliver and Los Angeles Rams. Gilo saying YouTube TV was the best in 2020 at all the major sports networks. Then Bally's pulled out, created their own thing. But yeah. Oh, right. And you don't have baseball in, in, in your region now, right? Yeah, see, this is what happened with uh, with the Dodgers network. There was no Dodgers baseball. Hopefully your situation gets resolved sooner, but it was years before the Dodgers got were on all the satellite dishes as well as the cable TV network. Luckily, I had that cable TV network already. I didn't have DirecTV, but DirecTV and Dish, which still comprises... 35, 40% of the Los Angeles market, which is a pretty big market, obviously, weren't getting Dodgers games, which is crazy. And, um, I mean, it's crazy enough where, believe it or not, folks, they that deal wasn't even resolved for Vin Scully's last season. Which is kind of crazy. 10 out of 20, Sam Howell under the lights autograph. Nick Shoes saying the Thursday night lineup has been drastically improving the NFL. I like those Thursday night games too. That's for the Commanders. Now, Nick and everybody, how long do you think before the NFL goes, you know what? There used to be a handshake agreement or a gentleman's agreement, whatever you want to call it. There was an agreement. I don't think it's a contractual agreement, but I think there was an agreement that NFL wouldn't compete against college football on Saturdays. At what point do you think the NFL says, we're going to have Saturday games now? Twenty out of one hundred. Uh, Brian Robinson Jr. I mean, I'd, I'd watch the NFL on Saturdays. I'd watch it on Fridays. There's uh, Trey Lance, 13 out of 125 for Oliver and the Niners. Networks wouldn't pay for it? What if NFL Network says, we'll do it? We'll produce a Saturday Night Football broadcast. David Ojabo to 299. And we got a nice Garrett Wilson, 17 out of 25. Nice one for the Jets, Patrick and the Jets. Gila would welcome NFL on Saturdays. Man, college, college, just more of a money-making machine now. I mean, that, that's how it has been, right, for for decades. It's just now that the kids can make a little money now too. Good or bad, we'll see. There'll be some, some growing pains with the name, image, and likeness stuff there, I'm sure.
Gio is saying the conference shakers has killed her for you. All these fake rivalries, no tradition anymore. What are you, are you saying that USC and UCLA are just, just not Big Ten material? Or whatever conference they're in now? Big Ten, right? Yeah. I mean, when I think USC, the University of Southern California, and UCLA, I think Big Ten. That's, that's Big Ten football to me. That's what I'm saying, Nick Schuster. NFL is king. So, I mean, I feel like it's been talked about. I feel like it's a matter of time before the NFL just started going, you know what? F it. We're going to take a Thursday night. Or we already take, took a Thursday We're going to take a Friday night. We're going to take a Saturday night. All right, gang, let's take a look at the fourth and final box. Good luck. Justin Jefferson mini refractor. And we have Derek Stingley Jr. Dual relic and autograph. That is 225 out of 249. Still not in a mid-season form on knowing these players, right? Third overall pick. I should probably know this. Houston Texans. Yeah, Aaron's saying it's really sad. Realignment of stuff is killing college football. And who, yeah, who wants to watch Rutgers UCLA? I don't want to watch Rutgers UCLA. Jamar Chase at 50. Gila is saying you want to see these West Coast teams play in the winter. Oh. Remember, they're, they're not just recruiting from... You know they don't recruit just from Southern California, though, Gila, right? Hopefully there'll be some guys that have that have played in some cold weather before. I'm sure there are plenty on those teams. There's Kenneth Walker the third for the Seahawks. That'll be for Rodney. Here's a mini Kyler Murray, 111 out of 125. It's on the sidelines today in this Cardinals Ravens preseason matchup. Uh, Desmond Ritter, 36 out of 149. Let's see if he gets some time for the uh, for the ATL. And there's another Desmond Ritter, just a base rookie card. And there you go, gang. Both of those will go to Robert. And that's that. That's a four-box break of 2022 Legacy Football. Pick your team at number 19. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. And, uh, and, hey, stick with us all NFL season long. We love talking football, ripping football. jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.